Firstly, I would like to begin by thanking the team of CWE for giving me this tremendous opportunity of having a chance to mentor and influence a new brand of women innovators coming into society today. As a fellow social entrepreneur, I started my journey almost 15 years ago in the back hills of a state called Orissa. Being a daughter of a bureaucrat, I had the opportunity to travel to villages deep into the interiors of the country, where I got to see the tremendous lack of infrastructure as well as lack of basic amenities. Somewhere in deep in my conscience, this stayed with me and acted as a motivating factor as I grew up. As women, we do have our own challenges and starting my own entrepreneurial journey was a Herculean task in itself. Here's a question I get asked a lot. What was your unique moment? When did you know that this is a journey that you wanted to start? Well, like I told you before, the background I came from, the, the idea embedded in my head when I was going through my MBA in Alman, when I got to realize that through through business, how we can actually positively impact society, bring about a change which is sustainable, and bring together two ends of a spectrum, which is corporate houses on one end, and society which requires their help. That for me was my eureka moment. Another question that you get asked a lot is, when did this idea fly? Now the biggest part of any idea of flying is, someone else has to buy into it. So the most difficult part of this journey is to find my first client. To sell this idea to somebody who would buy the fact that yes, society needs this change and we are looking for organizations which can help us implement these projects. So in your journey, these are the two questions you'll get asked the most. And for you, always remember if you have an idea in your head, finding a buy-in from a third party is going to be your most difficult challenge. Well, it's been 15 years in counting and I'm happy to share with you that today we have a bank India presence. We have a very strong workforce which has men and women alike. And we've been fortunate enough to empower and enable more than 50,000 women across India. The biggest advice that I leave you with as a fellow, fellow entrepreneur is believe in your dreams, enjoy the ride, enjoy the success with your failures, take it as it comes and always remember the, the more conviction that you face your challenges with, the stronger you will be as a person, as the head of your organization, and you will also be able to make your dreams come true. I'm really privileged to be working with four very bright women entrepreneurs who have been chosen by CMWD. I look forward to having a long and fruitful engagement with all of you. I'm very proud to announce their names. Rujika, co-founder of Joel Dark. Mansi, co-founder of Foundation Surat, Shriti, co-founder of Book Events, and Smriti, co-founder of Gurgaon Community Circle. Look forward to having a long and engaging relationship with all of you. Well, it's a privilege to be a part of Romira Ma'am's journey and her dreams of changing the society for the better. She has mentored me in all the aspects of my life. She has taught me how to become a multitasker, counseled me to handle difficult situations, and when I see her excellent decision making skills, her new ideas, her vision of supporting the underprivileged, empowering women and making them financially independent, it motivates me and inspires me to become the iconic entrepreneur she is.